What's up guys, my name is Martini Kicks here, and today I'm going to be doing like a double unboxing video. This was originally just going to be an unboxing of the NMDs that I got from GOAT that you'll see later on in this video. But I forgot that I also ordered this off Grailed, and so uh, it's actually a pretty cool item. I've never, I literally searched this item online, I couldn't find it anywhere else for sale or even pictures, articles, anything of it. So I thought that I would share this pickup. Just in the video, but I didn't want to make it its own video because it's kind of short. Uh, it is a clothing pickup. So, there you go. And it's actually one of my first vintage pieces. It's a vintage Bape crew neck. You can tell that it's aged, I think, anywhere between the 2000 and 2005. Based on that Ape Shall Never Kill Ape tag. And uh, size medium down there. Uh, I actually, I think this will fit because Bape runs kind of small. But, yeah, so the last Bape piece I actually got, I actually unboxed in this room too. But they were the shorts and I bought them from Soul Steel just to resell. And I sold them a long time ago. So, I haven't actually had like a personal pickup before. And I got this for pretty cheap off Grailed. Um, I've legit checked it online on Bape forums and things. So, the buy of the tag, it is legit. But it's just like a simple crew neck I plan on wearing. It's like the college logo. However, only weird thing is if you look at the ape, it's got sort of like a weird mouth gesture thing going on. So I don't know if this was some kind of special edition. He actually looks kind of mad. I thought I tried searching maybe like Halloween edition, something like that. Well, my camera died naturally. That is a sign that I should be wrapping this up. But there you go. I tried it on. As you can see, if it's pretty perfect. But yeah, as I was saying, the ape head logo has sort of like this weird graphic going on. I tried searching if it was like some Halloween edition or something, but no results came up. Like I said, I haven't been able to find this piece anywhere, but it was pretty sick. I got it for like a hundred bucks on Grailed. So, I mean, I wasn't mad at it. I authenticated it, like I said, online. And really the only flaws are like the most minuscule little holes on the sleeves, which he mentioned um, were an issue. Uh, the print is actually in insanely good condition considering that this is at least 10 years old. Onto the NMDs, because I forgot that this is another clip so let's wrap this up right this is an unboxing of a shoe that was purchased from goat uh it's the first time i bought anything from there and they're pretty good at taping up packages hey my apologies i did not receive the memo that you needed a machete to open the tape but now that i retrieved my machete we are good so what lies in here is odd it's a used pair of shoes from GOAT. This is a shoe that goes for a solid chunk of money on the resale market. New, so I just bought a used pair. Um, the GOAT paper came unsealed. That's a negative mark right there. The box is destroyed, but it said that it was. I just don't know how you do this to a box. But there you go, that's the shoe. The French beige NMDs. Besides that, I got these for like 200 bucks. And, um, hoping that the condition isn't awful. So, here they are. Apparently, flaws were, what, like discoloration or something? Which I can't really pick up on. They don't seem discolored, but hey, I haven't owned a pair of these before. Um,. They're freezing cold from the box. So, from the look of it, he stepped to some pink crap on the soles. But other than that, I mean, they're not bad. So here you go. Proof from GOAT. Authenticated by M. My thing was, I wasn't sure how quickly these would ship to me, being that they were from GOAT, since they have to authenticate your shoes and everything before they ship them out to you. And uh, I was thinking like a month. Like I was thinking a lot. These took exactly 11 days to get to me. Yeah, they're my first pair of NMDs and they were always my favorite NMD. I always wanted a pair of these. That's about it for this video. The camera's gonna die very soon and there were some terrible shadows here the whole time. So, um, there you go. Tiptoeing in my Jordans, try to gain down. Tiptoeing in my Jordans, just cop the Porsche. Tiptoeing in my phone.